of my last week in this truck and the bunk heater's not working i mean it's working the problem is the uh the hose come undone which i'll show you what i have to do is take this plate up it's got screws and you just take up the screws pull the plate and we'll just fix it thing is my new truck the whole bed just goes bloop it just picked it just it's on hinges and lifts up so that's a better design in the peterbilt than the w9 all right we got this all undone let's go ahead and lift it up what a pain what a pain i guess you can't see sorry the lighting's terrible Ugh. i'm trying to show it i don't know if you can see but i just got to hook it back all up. i got to do is connect this which goes in there make sure it's aimed right I know it's hard to see and hook it back up for whatever reason it keeps coming undone so we'll hook it back up and with that it's all put back together wow this is a dusty mess but yeah but you got to have a bunk heater what happens this got screwed up but we moved it back, it's tight, she's good to go. Now we put the bed back together. Petey's all relieved, huh Petey? Bed's all put back together, bunk heater's all hooked back up. So we'll be nice and toasty warm tonight, we won't have to idle the truck. Um, it'll be so nice. Oh, well, bunk heater's all fixed. Now we can sit and have a discussion open up a little pop a little drinky drink um not that you guys care to see me take a drink a pop hey yeah, i used to smoke i don't smoke anymore so i drink pop but i don't drink alcohol hardly at all so pop is pretty much my only vice um so i did a little teaser video saying we we bought a truck now it's a joint venture between myself my brother and my mother um and that's all anybody really needs to know i don't know somebody commented on my uh video it's since disappeared um, at first I blocked it, but then I thought, nah, you know, what the hell, we'll put it up there. We'll leave it up there, because I don't get many comments, because really nobody watches. But, that's just a, somebody is mad at me. Um, but you'll have that. So, we bought the truck. We, um... It is my truck. I'm the only one that's going to drive it. I'm the only one that's going to drive it. I'm going to be doing all the owner-operator stuff. Just whatever. Yeah, I'm going to have some a little outside help, but we'll be looking to get bigger. Um, this is just the first truck, and over time... We'll add more and go on from there. We have big plans. And we'll see what happens. This is see how the first truck goes. Hopefully it's not a complete failure. If it is, it is. At least we tried. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. The truck is awesome. Um, it's a little a little smaller sleeper I guess because this is a 
Yeah, I've been driving this W9 for a friend of mine for three years. But, you know, it's time to move on. I appreciate everything that he did for me and giving me a job for three years. And I, I hope that I'm quitting the right way. I gave my two-week notice and that. Um, we'll clean out the truck and all that. But anyway, the truck will be clean when I, when I leave. But... I've been driving around this W9, 280 wheelbase. It's got the 86 inch condo sleeper, this big old sleeper. Um, the Peterbilt's gonna be just a little bit different. Obviously it's gonna, it's 579. I'll show you, I'll put a picture in at the end. It's a 579, but 235 wheelbase. Um, but the, the sleeper is 80 inch, it's not much smaller than this uh, six inches now the difference is it has a working fridge I haven't had a working fridge since October that'll be nice it's got the power inverter all that stuff with the microwave put up TV um, it's got the, the that electronic APU whatever bunk heater it's a nice truck um, yeah it's not a hood all these youtubers going for a hood we'll make a video about the problems I've had with driving a hood hooded truck um, not so much in the uh, sand world actually not in the sand world but in the flatbed and the uh, dry van world it, it can be a problem but that's okay I love this W9 uh, in the future I'm sure I will get one again this probably is not the last W9 I'll drive I'm sure that I'll get one in the future but it's time to move on and the new truck is phenomenal it's a Cummins engine, 13 speed, not an automatic. And hopefully it doesn't give me any problems. I mean, I know it will. We're set up to, to deal with those problems that should they arise. And it'll be a good time. I'm confident that we'll do well. I'm going to be doing dry van for now. And. see what happens I mean you never know maybe oil comes back we go to oil or who knows it might stay dry van forever because it's pretty easy and actually the truck that I'm getting is gonna be much easier to live in um, not that this one wasn't once the fridge broke it wasn't fun it's not fun I eat Roman noodles and and in this crap uh, this kind of stuff all the time, which isn't good. Um, but hey, I'm fortunate. The path that I've been on since I've been driving a semi is not the easiest. <laughs> I didn't start, I've never driven for a mega carrier, not ever. But we're on to bigger and better things, not bigger. <laughs> That's pretty much the same thing. Uh, more complicated, I guess. Uh, but it should be fun. And I don't even know if you can see me. This thing might have been focusing on that shelf this entire time. But that's all I got. Petey and I are going to go to sleep. They're going to send us a load in the morning. We're going to run out this week, this last week in the W9. And next week we start a new adventure. It's going to be about a week to get the truck ready. And then away we'll go. Y'all take it easy.